So it's a few days before the Super Bowl and NBA stuff's going on. It's in full effect. Blake Griffin got traded. And we're like, dang, football fans were sitting around like, dang, that's crazy. And all of a sudden, I get a notification. Alex Smith is traded to the Washington Redskins out of the middle of nowhere. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the trade, who won the trade, which side got the best part of the deal, and we're starting right now. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Bluntness Sports Talk. This is the channel where you might not tell you what you want to hear, but we're going to tell you what you need to hear. And on this channel, I do analysis and recap of the best division in the NFL, the NFC South, along with other NFL topics and issues that come up like this one. So if you want to see more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know who you think won the trade out of these two teams. I mean, did... The Redskins get what they wanted when they got a certain little bridge for Alex Smith until they get their quarterback of the future. Did the Chiefs win? Did Kirk Cousins win? Alex Smith win? Who won the trade, man? Let me know below in the comments. So if you haven't heard, like I said, Alex Smith was traded to the Redskins last night for like Kendall Fuller, some cornerback, and a third round pick. Soon after, Alex Smith was given a four-year, $94 million contract from them, which is about $23.5 million per year. I think the cap hit is going to be like $17 million or something like that. I don't know. If the rest of it is just going to be bonus and incentives. And all I could think was, wow, that's crazy money. They paid this guy 23 and 5 and Kirk Cousins is officially going to be a free agent this year. They haven't been going back and forth for the past few seasons. They franchised him one year for like $19 million. They franchised him another year for like well, this past year for what, $24 million? And he got franchised one more time. It would have been $34.5 million. And I knew the Redskins weren't going to pay Kirk Cousins that. Kirk Cousins, he's solid, but he's not $34.5 million solid. There's not too many players in the NFL that's $34.5 million solid. It was just crazy that this came through out of the blue. I mean, we knew Alex Smith was probably going to be the way out in Kansas City. They drafted Patrick Mahomes with a number 10 overall pick last year out of Texas Tech. He played like one game when in the regular season when that didn't really matter for them, and he looked okay. I mean, his preseason was okay. He has legs, he has a crazy arm, and he came out of that crazy offense. Andy Reid is a brilliant offensive mind, and he could think of some crazy things he could probably do with Patrick Mahomes in that offense with Tyreek Hill, Kareem Hunt, and, and Travis Kelsey. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But what I don't get by the Redskins is why do you trade for a 33-year-old quarterback who's equal, if not the same guy, as Kirk Cousins? And he's not the long-term answer, clearly. Kirk Cousins is 29, just going into his prime. I know you didn't want to franchise him again. Why not work out a deal? You were too crazy worrying about what to do with him. You should have signed him years ago, if not last year. After that, he paid him $19 million, which was a bargain. He threw for, like, almost 5,000 yards. So you should have signed him for $22, maybe $1 million, and you would have got a steal. Now he's about to hit the open market, and you're not even going to get a piece of the pie because you made your choice. You made your bed. It's time to lay in it. Hey, and honestly, Kirk Cousins has been consistent for what you put around him. I mean, his best receiver over the years has probably been Pierre Garçon. I mean, he had Deshaun Jackson. He gave him some deep balls. But this year, he had nothing. Jordan Reed was hurt. Uh, he had a rookie running at the end of the year. Chris Thompson might have been his best target, and he got hurt. He was making Vernon Davis look like the old Vernon Davis all over again. And it seemed like Jay Gruden really liked Kirk Cousins. So, I don't know why they let him go. But like I said, Alex Smith was out of there anyway. He was talking just like anyway. He's, oh, I know it's a business and I know blah, blah, blah. He could pretty much see the writing on the wall. He's been down this road before. Let's not forget that the same thing happened to him with Kaepernick. Kaepernick, he got hurt. Kaepernick came in, got him a run to the Super Bowl. Alex Smith was pretty much sitting there with his hands in his pocket like, okay, what do I do now? They were nice enough to trade him to Kansas City. Blah, blah, blah. A few years later, he's back in the scenario again for a younger quarterback and Patrick Mahomes. Will the story be the same for the Chiefs as it were for the 49ers where the quarterback situation doesn't work out and the team just goes downhill? Probably. I don't know what Patrick Mahomes is going to be going in the future, but he's not Alex Smith right now, and they're ready for that future, I guess, since they don't think they can get over that hump and beat Pittsburgh or New England. You might as well just rebuild until Tom Brady retires. Kirk Cousins is finally hitting that free agency. No more talks with the team. Kirk Cousins, man, I got to give a shout out to him, bro. A lot of people don't realize this dude is underrated. I mean, like I said, for what they put around him, he does his thing, man. And 
he was a late round pick. He was the second fiddle between behind RG three for so many years. I think that's why he gets so much flack. People wanted RG three to be great so bad that they saw that once Kirk Cousins took his spot and he solidified. It was just like, dang, like they're gonna do him like that for Kirk Cousins. And it wasn't Kirk Cousins' fault. You should blame Shanahan. You should blame Jay Gruden especially for getting uh, RG three up out of Washington. But Kirk Cousins has to pick up a letter now. He's like. That one chick that you saw in high school that nobody really liked. She might have been fat or ugly or something like that and really didn't get any love and nobody really talked to her. But you come back at your 10-year reunion after a few years and now she's smoking hot and now you can't even talk to her because she's the baddest thing since sliced bread. And that's exactly where Kirk Cousins is. He was a late-round pick. Nobody really wanted him. Nobody really wanted to give him a chance. Now he's got a chance. He's about to hit that open market. The Broncos, the Jets, the Jags, uh... Who else needs a quarterback? Everybody. The Dolphins, the Browns. Like, there's so many teams that need a quarterback and so many teams with a ridiculous amount of cap space that could pay him. I think he should go, go to Denver. They have pretty much everything set in there, but they would have to probably get rid of some guys to make some cap room. It was just funny this week he talked about money not being everything. He interviewed actually this week during the Super Bowl stuff and said that money isn't everything. It's important, but then, 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 then all the things you want to hear your quarterback say, I guess. But we know what time it is when you hit that open market. It's about that check. Your agent is probably going to want that check too because they get that 3% cut. So we know what time it is. But well, let me know what you think about the trade, man, and who won the trade overall, guys.